Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Empires of the Undergrowth. It's been a while since I've last touched this, but the reason we're coming back to it is because the game is actually releasing from early access. I know it's been a while. Um, the game is due to release soon on June 7th, I think it is, and I have early access to the final levels. I am not allowed to show off the final, final, final level. I'm under an embargo, so I cannot show that. But I can show off levels 5.1, 5.2, and 5.3. Um, I have not played them yet, so this should be fairly interesting. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, looks like they've reworked the UI a little bit. There's tutorial, story mode, custom game, and arcade. I'll cycle through the latter two here for those of you new to this game. Um, there's a battle arena where you can just throw stuff down and watch them fight. There are extra levels that you can play. There's quite a bit of them. So if you just want to play this pre-made level challenge kind of thing, you can do that. And then there are demo levels that were only available in the demo. So uh, that's kind of nice too. All right, so that's the arcade. And then if you want to play an actual, like, quote-unquote skirmish, there's um, various maps that you can choose between, some of which I've never seen before. Straw Clutch is one of them. Interesting. But yeah, down here you can choose your color, you can choose what type of species you want. Leaf cutter, fire ant, termites, um, little black ants, and so on. There is a new ant type coming to this game on launch. I don't have access to that. I have to first beat the game, and when I do, I unlock not only a new game plus mode, but I also unlock a new ant type, and it's not available in this current build right now. So... You won't see that new ant type, but um, I'm looking forward to seeing what it is. I know what it is, but I don't want to spoil it for those of you that are like, you know, you don't want to be surprised. But here in the skirmish or free play modes, you can, you know, pretty much pick what you want. There's a lot of different customization here. You can toggle things on or off at your leisure. I'm not going to do too much of that. Maybe later. Uh, we're going to jump into the story mode, and this is my, this is my, uh, Formicarium from like way back when, although something has happened to it via a cutscene that I don't know if I can actually replay or not. Um, it doesn't look like it. There was a little cutscene that I was treated to as soon as I like booted it up, booted this up, and it was just all of my ants died. It just said time had passed, and I guess my ants had been neglected, so all of my ants, all of my Formicarium is demolished. And now I'm kind of like starting from scratch again, trying to rebuild it up. It kind of sucks. I don't know why they did that. Um, maybe it's part of the story, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, so I'm, I will rebuild this up over time, but your formicarium is your like ant base in between levels. So, um, yeah. All right. So let's go ahead then and look in the upper left. Now, you can upgrade your ants via these adaptations. If, as you play levels, you'll earn something called Royal Jelly. And if I move my face, uh, yeah, right there, 943 Royal Jelly. I can use that to upgrade the ants that I have, and that will affect future battles. So um, this is the newer ant that just released, not the new new one that will be released after I beat the game, but this Matabel ant, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but yeah, there's a new ant type there. Um, I can upgrade um, abilities on these ants and so on, but um, I'll do that on my own time. I'm going to go ahead and feature the first 5.1 today. It's called Triage. And yeah, I'm not allowed to show this, the real final experiment that that is embargoed. I cannot show that. Um, but there is a new game plus mode that does become available once you beat the game. Okay, so 5.1, we'll play it on easy because I have not played this in forever. And yeah, so this is these are the rewards that we get if we beat this level for the first time. Um, that actually affects our formicarium. We get food. So that we can, um, you know, grow our formicarium. Uh, we also get more territory so that we can uh, dig out more spaces and put more ant tiles down. And again, this royal jelly is used to upgrade our ants. So like, as we play levels, we upgrade this. We, we upgrade our formicarium, make it better. And I, I like that about the earlier levels. It just sucks that all of my work just went kaput. So yeah, it just sucks. But we'll go ahead and do 5.1. 
put it on easy and challenge mode stays off. Okay. So now I have a choice between two ant types. Um, so the one on the left, ants have a sting that slows enemy movement and attack speed. At level three, their sting also increases physical damage to the target. Uh, fast responder, ants have a fast movement speed, are not slowed by brew tiles, and nurse fallen ants back to health faster. At level three, they gain a high chance of evading attacks when out of combat. Yeah, it is not an atheist ant. It's it's not one of those anti-religion ants. It's it's uh, anesthetist, I, I guess. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But that's what we'll go with because it actually does things. Yes, yes, the religions. Yeah, yeah, there's religions in this game now. Yeah, yeah. Escorted by a small entourage of loyal soldiers, this young queen has set out to establish a new colony on the edge of the savannah. These are Megaponera Analis, the Matabeliants. They are large, fierce, and specialize in raiding termite nests. Alright, so first and foremost, we expand a little bit. We need more food storage. Looks like the surface is here. So we should probably dig out an area for food around here somewhere. I don't want to, like... Maybe like right here, or maybe right here. I gotta be d careful about not digging too close to this stuff yet. All right, so let's get the. Looks like the little red icons. Those are the soldiers. Yeah. So we'll put them into group one and put them up here. And it looks like we've got seven workers. We're gonna have to get more than that at some point. And if we take a look at our actual ant types, we've got a worker ant. Uh, does jobs around the nest, including excavation, construction, egg carrying, and food gathering. Then we've got the medic, the Mentabelli ant soldier. Interesting. Carries injured colony members home and rehabilitates them. And then lastly, we've got this regular soldier ant. Okay, well, let's go ahead and clear the surface. And we're going to need food. So let's go ahead and put some food tiles down, maybe like near the entrance. The Matabili may be predators, but they are very picky about their prey. The other creatures nearby are insignificant compared to the vast and replenishable bounty locked within the local termite mounds. Raids are conducted at dusk and dawn, and the night is almost over. It is time. Alright, well we've got 20 ants. I don't see any food sources, so I guess we have to attack other nests. So it looks like there's one, two, and three that we can choose between. Are those all corpses, or is that just wood? That looks like wood. All right, let's there just... are three Macrotermes bellicosis termite nests in the vicinity. The Matabili must choose a target quickly and move with purpose. A common earwig for Ficula auricularia has locked jaws with a Matabili ant. This nighttime scavenger won't shy away from a scuffle, especially if there's a chance it'll end with a meal. Yes. I feel like I'm watching the Discovery Channel. The termites, although much smaller than the ants, are far from easy game. They have their own soldier casts whose job is to make the raids as difficult as possible for the ants. With durable head armor and keen jaws, it is not uncommon for the defenders to maim and even kill raiding soldiers. As soon as the Matabili have enough food, they should leave without delay. The workers have done all they can to improve these food stores. All right, did they come out? I guess that's the termite mound there. All right, let's see if we can get a little bit more food. The ants must defend themselves. Looks like it's going to be super important to turn off combat and on combat. There's an enable attack button, probably behind my head, um, that you can toggle on or off. It kind of forces them to like not do combat and pick up food. Speaking of which, do we have enough? All right, 480 food, 510 food. We're increasing our max storage so that we can go on raids and carry more back at a time. 
I know Sean Bean would have been perfect for this. The ants must defend themselves. All right, we need more ants. Okay, um, let's put. Wow, these are expensive. 140 food? Dang. Well, let's get some of those medic ones down, too. Why not? Could you imagine Christopher Walken doing this? Wow! The ants! They're fighting! That would be amazing. Well, at least they're 48 food each. That's not bad. All right, stay out of the nest. Stay out of the nest. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, you, you jerks, you idiots. They did. All right, back off. Uh, all right, let's go back home with what we have. And again, I want to get those medics up and running. That's really cool, like a medic ant. Those will go in group one. All right, let's go after a different one. In most ant colonies, injured soldiers are left to die on the battlefield, but the Matabili do not forsake their sisters so easily. Ants wounded in battle and unable to walk release pheromones calling their comrades for help. If unburdened raiders are available, the casualties are carried home and nursed back to health. As the midday sun rises overhead, the termites Ooh. retreat into the cool depths of their fortified mounds. Raiding at this time would be troublesome, and there would usually be little reason for the Matabili to leave their nests. However, West African rainbow lizards, Agama africana, have come to bask in the clearing. If too many are allowed to gather, the evening raids may be disrupted. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. All right, well, let's go ahead then and possibly wreck... Is there any f okay, there's a couple of food sources here. Let's go ahead and dig that out. It's so weird not having an actual food source nearby that I can just get whenever I want. The ants must fight. All right, uh, there's more up here. <sighs> this is going to be a nice area for food if I can clear it out. We also need more workers, so where am I going to put them? Maybe like right here. The battle has begun.
All right. Well, I guess there's nothing to do now except wait for nighttime. I guess we'll dig this up. As dusk begins to set in and the dusty earth cools, the termites march out of their mounds to collect dead wood and leaves. Time for the Matabili to replenish their larders. That's a lot of food. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna camp right here. The ants must defend themselves. Oh, here they come. Matabili should be careful not to over pillage any one mound. If the termites are too weakened, they will not recover their numbers in time for the next raid. Alright, we'll back off. That's a lot of food though, holy cow. Look at all that food sitting up there. Alright, we'll ninja in real quick, grab what we can. Oh, these poor saps. Oh my god. Oh. Well, that was close. <laughs> Lizard, man. Oh, so the food goes away after a while. Oh, that sucks. Alright. Alright, food. Um, let's get a third group. As night draws in, nocturnal scrubland specialists emerge from their hiding places to hunt. For the colony, the benefits of facing down these beasts are far outweighed by the cost in soldier casualties. Fortunately, the nest entrance is too small for the largest and most dangerous arthropods to crawl through. The ants will be safe underground. Well, I guess that's just a hint for me to stay underground for right now. <laughs> Got plenty of food, though. The workers have done all they can to improve these food stores. So our goal is to survive three nights. I'm guessing this is night one. It doesn't it doesn't look that bad. Is, I feel like I'm missing out on more food.
You know, let's risk it. I mean, nothing's happening right now. The ants must fight. All right, not too much, not too much. The sky brightens and the nighttime scavengers begin to dissipate, leaving space for Matabili raiding columns. A tiger beetle, Dromaquida elegantia, has spotted the ants. Oh, this wonderful. This exuberant red hunter possesses all the usual traits. Keen eyesight, long, powerful legs, and efficient carving jaws. Well, it's dead now. <laughs> this fearsome predator. <laughs> Are they done? Guess I'll pick on this one. The battle has begun. There we go. Food, food. All right, grab. Grab and move. Grab and move. Grab and move. Like, I feel like we could take them on, but I don't want to deplenit or, uh, I don't want to thin their numbers too much. All right, so we're about, looks like 20, 40, 55, roughly 60 some ants strong. I know, like, there's replenish. Why n not deplenish? Like, my brain is like, there should be a word for, for that, but. Daytime is approaching. The battle has begun. Oh, come on, back off. You don't need to be that close. You don't need to, like, be in their base. The temperature outside is rising, and the termites retreat inside to escape desiccation.
All right, grab and move. Grab and move. All right, not terrible. Our food stores are fairly full. Our lizard friends are back. There's a cute picture. Screenshot. Boom. You hate the color? You mean the tail? See, I like that color. It's very sharp. Creepy. As opposed to a green, a green one is not creepy. Okay, I'll take your word for it. All right, um, I guess we'll Dig this out. There's some food back here. The termites will soon venture out once again to forage. For the hungry Matabili ants, now is the time to strike. Not a whole lot of food down here. Ah, here they come. All right, let's go back out. Hope these things are worth it. Ability slows down movement and attack speed. What about this other one? Damage over time. Okay, so the soldier ant does damage over time. I like the new tooltip. You know, I think it's really helpful. So I guess some more of these wouldn't be bad. Carries injured colony members home and rehabilitates them. Okay, Rambo. Maybe you should wait. Oh, interesting. 20 are alive and 10 have an associated recuperated ant. Huh. Okay. So does that mean I have less than what I have? I don't know. Instead of 20, I have 10? The battle has begun. All right, quit fighting and retreat. That's a lot of food. There you go. Beautiful. Ah, oh, here comes the the defense. Oh, that's poor sap. Well, I guess I pissed them off too much. Let's move to a different one. I wonder if I can Attack and kill these lizards. I, I really don't want to take the chance because, you know, do they have a health bar? They do. Just stomp on them. Well, I guess. I, let's see if these lizards actually... Can I kill them? 
Oh, I'm crawling on them. Lizards are immense and more than capable of dealing with a few ants. The Matabili colony will need to make a significant show of force and target the lizards one at a time to stand any chance of driving them away. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> I mean, I guess there was a lot of ants. It, it didn't stand a chance. Poor lizard. I do have it on the easier difficulty setting. That might be part of it. All right. Um, let's let's go for these guys. What the ants? I mean, oh, shut up. The ants must fight. <laughs> Sword. It is quiet tonight. Usually the undergrowth would be bustling wow. with nighttime predators. Get out. A few have surfaced. Something has them spooked. All right, I guess we're going back home. It's too quiet. Tremors can be felt from within the nest. Oh, that's not good. There's a creature on the move, and it's getting closer. What? I don't see no creature. What is- oh, what is that? Heck no. Uh, I hope we're ready. Uh- it seems to be like, oh, come on, go away. Oh, oh how much you want to bet? How much you want to bet? A fully grown sun spider, Zaria Kisarlingi, has found the nest. She's looking for a burrow to lay her eggs, and this is the perfect spot. Unable to fit through the entrance, she oh needs to dig her way in. This well, could be disastrous for the colony. Okay, well, attack. I mean, I guess. The sun spider has bulldozed through the nest entrance and into the tunnels. She must be stopped. Oh, that's a lot of death. It is finished. The sun spider was finally bested by the ants, but not before decimating the nest. The cavern she left in her wake is now likely to attract even larger creatures. The colony had better be prepared. I'm almost afraid to ask, like, why? <laughs> what creature? A Pomsky. That's, that's what it is. The next battle is going to be a Pomeranian. Alright, so we murdered some there. Maybe we go up to the right here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they did mess up my little tunnel here. It's like wide open. I'm very tempted to leave... You know, I'm gonna leave a group back. With the sun spider threat eliminated, the Matabili have an opportunity to raid freely while the termites are active. They should make the most of it while they can. Oh, here they come. That's a lot of food. We could just grab it and go.
think it looks like we got most of it. I really don't know if it's worth making any more of these medics. I mean, I can't tell if they're working or not. Like, there's a plus two here, a plus 20 there. But, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll build more just to have them. Put a red shirt on them, it'll be fine. That metal one's looking pretty pitiful. They must be getting the wood from this stuff. Yeah, it's starting to go away. I can see like it's starting to be removed. Yep. That's what they're doing. I like on the minimap this line of green. The ants must defend themselves. Oh, great. Mm, that's a lot of food. It is almost noon, and the termites go to ground. Further raids are unlikely to be fruitful. For now. Well, if they keep attacking me, it's like Uber. They're bringing stuff right to my doorstep. <laughs> this battle. Okay, uh, let's just retreat back home. Fresh termite carcass right right on my doorstep. It'll be great. Look at all that food they left. What the heck? Pick it up. What the heck? They left all that freaking food just sitting on the ground just because the food stores were full. Kids. Oh, great. The ants must fight. I was not expecting one there. What do you want, Tiki? Oh my gosh. I could be attacked at any time, Tiki. You know this, right? All right, hold on. Come here. Come here. Huff a lump. 
Oh, did he? Okay. The termites are ramping up their activities. The Matabili should seize this opportunity before the nocturnal predators are too numerous. Yes, oh, okay. Oh boy, okay. Yes, hi. Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going? Okay, alright. I can't tell what my face looks like at this point. If the camera is like auto... Okay, there we go. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> hey, you're the one that wanted up here, okay? Mm-hmm. Are you happy now? Okay. The ants must defend themselves. <laughs> Seriously, just shelling okay i don't know, i have no idea what's going on at this point all right just grab the food thank you thank you thank you Oh, my poor ants. Oh, there's my medics. Looks like they're carrying back ants. If you're going to keep squirming, I'm going to put you down. Wow, that's a lot of ants. 120? I still have to survive two nights? I feel like it's been at least four at this point. Workers plus recuperated workers. Oh, interesting. So there's a little plus sign here, too. The battle has begun. The gaping nest entrance is unlikely oh, no, to no, be back. noticed for long. The Matabili should stand guard. Great. There will be invaders tonight. All right, well, let's back off. Group two can hang out by the queen. Good. Got plenty of food. 2,000 some food. I think that's good. What invaders, though? Mm hmm Thank you. Oh, there's something. 
an African giant centipede, Etnostigmus oh. trigonopodus, approaches the nest. Searching for a good ambush spot, it wasn't expecting to find an ant colony, but now irritated and hungry, it confronts the soldiers. Oh my god. Despite its great size, rows of segmented armor plates allow it to remain agile, and its forward legs have been modified into fangs, with which it can puncture and inject venom into its victims. Okay, well, that's a lot of food. I'll take it. The giant centipede is dead. A lesser colony would have surely fallen to the monster. Although the Matabele Queen has survived, the undergrowth remains perilous. The ants should clear the carcass and replenish quickly. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh! Is that a scorpion? Oh, Tiki. This game is worse than the Outlast trial. Is it just because everything's like, it's more disgusting? My entrance is screwed at this point. I feel like at this point I should have. Night is over, okay, and the good. raiding window oh. opens once again. Oh my goodness, they're so tired. After all that food, now you're, now you're ready to take a nap. Yeah. Survive one night. Okay. This is a long level. Yeah, it's a long level. Alright, we've got some food. Let's head back. My Little Pony skin, uh, reskin. Food stores are full. Oh, that means that we probably dropped a bunch of food somewhere. Oh, you're a pain in the butt. All right, you're going down. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. There you go. All right, hold on. There you go. Dog. We have over three thousand food. I can't imagine we'll need any more than that. We just need I need a fast forward button that just take me to the end of the level.
wonder if I should go up there and get all that all those bodies. Take a smaller group up there. Rainbow lizards are beginning to arrive. The Matabili would do well to keep them in check. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, there they go. Okay, so they... Those medical ants are doing their thing. The ants will fight to the death. Seriously? Who said to go in there and fight? Like, really? Another one? Are they running? They took all my freaking ants with me. Oh, okay. All right, we got him. <laughs> he was running away. Is that one alive? His body is twisted at a very odd angle. I wonder if medical ants have to be assigned to the main nest to f to care for ants that are down i'm not sure how that works the sun has almost set the sand has cooled and the termites resume their harvest The ants must defend themselves. I think that's good. Part is wondering if I should 
dig these out so I don't have to deal with them later. Food stores are full. All right, I might as well just wait for night time at this point. I mean, I don't think I. I mean, I I could get bigger than this, but I I, I see no point. <clears throat> Darkness looms, and the Savannah arthropods emerge to hunt. There is but one the Matabili have yet to face, the greatest amongst their number. It comes tonight. <laughs> what the fuck? It comes tonight. Alright, well I guess we'll just form a protective barrier around the queen. Actually, you know what? Let's have a group there. And if they make it past that group, then they have to contend with all of this. Uh, yeah, what is that? Okay, this is gonna be fun. That's gonna hurt. Alright, new plan. Ambush them as soon as it gets it right inside. Yep. It is here. Pandinus Imperator, the Emperor Scorpion. Growing to 20 centimeters in length, this true titan of the undergrowth dwarfs almost anything that crosses its path. With bulging pedipalps, equally effective for digging up insects and tearing them apart, this encounter could mean extinction for the colony. Wow, this Emperor Scorpion means business. The queen is in imminent danger. How are you supposed to stop her from being attacked? My queen... Okay, come on. Get in there. Surround it. There you go. Oh, thank God. Woo, that was close. Even as wave after wave of soldiers were crushed, the Matabili would not relent. The fiercest raiders mounted the beast whilst maimed defenders sliced at its joints. Finally, the Emperor Scorpion fell. Having bested the three titans, the message to the Savannah arthropods is clear. Confronting the Matabili in their home will only end one way. Alright, so I can choose between extra territory, extra food, or extra royal jelly. Um, part of me wants to do food, so I can just get more... Yeah, I think I'm going to do food. And then we'll end level. That was on the easiest setting, so it, it was okay. Seeds have been dropped. And bringing food into the lab. Wow, that's a lot of food. All right, well, I'll do this off camera probably. Grow my numbers a bit. I'm sure I'll need it for the last uh, formicarium challenge.
Well, hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to take a break. This is Vince. Thanks for watching. I'll catch y'all next time. Take care.